Good morning and happy Veterans Day. Well, even during a pandemic, there are still so many ways to celebrate veterans, no matter where you live in the region. Looking ahead to that, yesterday I headed out to Erath to talk to a community that is very patriotic about what it's like being a veteran growing up and now living there. 97-year-old Lee Bernard is a staple here in Erath, but his impact stretches beyond this little town all the way overseas. Bernard was a tank operator in Normandy in World War II. Proud of myself. I'm not. Feel like I'm a big shot. <laughs> After three years serving our country, Bernard returned to his patriotic hometown, where he unknowingly inspired so many young people to follow in his footsteps. Mr. Lee has come back in our community and raised a family. He, he, he was like a grandfather to me and many of my friends. We'd come hang out over here. So he has been a big inspiration for our community. Two generations later, dozens of Iraq men went overseas to serve in Iraq. We had the benefit of going, of being deployed to Iraq with a, a group of, of people that grew up together, the Iraq guys. I would say there were probably 50 of us. Two of those men now holding major leadership roles, the principal of Erath High and the mayor of the whole town. That's a piece of that got me to where I am today with my career and also being mayor, the, uh, the leadership skills that it taught me and the, the group of people that I met that I still use those resources today to allow us to run the town, to allow us to, to do things in the community. So big, big support by, by all my fellow veterans. And while the whole nation celebrates today, we can all look to this town and learn the importance of remembering servicemen and women all year round. Veterans Day, you know, it's there, but I think it stretches out throughout the year um, for the support for veterans in Erath. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see flags flying on the streets um, for, for the 4th of July and, and practically every day of the year. So many ways to celebrate here today. Here in New Iberia at the New Veterans Memorial, you can come out from 6 to 8 p.m. There will be a ceremony out in Lafayette starting at 9 at Fountain Memorial Funeral Home. You can attend a ceremony there. And then out in St. Landry Parish at the Jambalee Building, you'll be able to attend a luncheon if you'd like, and that starts at 11.30. We'll have a little bit more of specific details on all of those events and give you a closer look at this memorial coming up in our next half hour. Live in New Iberia, Abby Breidenbach. Good morning, Acadiana.